Hello and welcome to today's show. On set we are talking about parenting styles and we have an amazing lady here that I will let her introduce herself. Hi, thank you so much Cherono for having me on set. My name is Chaiti Waweru Mwangi. I am a communicator and one of my favorite roles is also the fact that I am a mom, I am a wife, I am a mother to three children and I'm so happy to be here to share some of the insights I've gotten in my parental journey. Amazing. Starters of so how has it been from the firstborn now your number three? How has it been? Mm. So I have three children. They are so different. Yes. Chirono, uh, my kids are so different that um, I have to customize my parental style to fit each and every one of them. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when it comes to discipline, for example, yes. you want to be able to offer your child the right instruction mm -hmm. so that they can be able to do what you want without antagonizing them. And so I've come to realize that um, all children are different and parenting them should be catered to an individual child and not just doing a whole like a, a wholesale kind of parenting. Mm -hmm. um, so I have three kids. Mm -hmm. The first born is Erika Wanjiko Mwangi. Oh, amazing. Erika is eight. <laughs> wow, that first. Yes, she is eight uh -huh. and uh, she's a go-getter. She doesn't need a lot of encouragement. And so with her, it was so easy raising her. It was just a breeze. And so with the second born, mm -hmm. I always say that God allows you to get one first child who is perfect, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and easy to raise and then shocks you with, uh, you know, that child who <laughs> needs a lot of reinforcement. So wow. my second born, Chariton, mm -hmm. Chariton is Chariton Waweru Mwangi. Oh, wow. He is um, a little bit... Uh, slow in her in his development uh -huh. milestones, <laughs> but uh, he gets there eventually. He gets we there, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but he needs a lot of encouragement and yes. he needs a lot of celebration for mm -hmm. him to be able to progress. Mm -hmm. And so, if indeed you uh, adapt the style that you used in raising the Erica, mm -hmm. and then you want to do the same thing with Chariton, you see your style or your your mission will fail. I guess it's because a boy and a girl. <laughs> yes, some people say that. But yeah. you see, you also find other boys who mm -hmm. are very, very fast and they progress pretty fast. Wow. Um, the investment that we put in fast bonds, mm -hmm. remember there's very little distraction. Exactly. And so some fast bonds tend to have, you know, the, all the attention. And so when your attention is divided, it can also influence your parenting. Mm -hmm. So my last one is mm -hmm. a firecracker oh. <laughs> <laughs> she is the one who keeps me on toes uh -huh. <laughs> she's two. Oh wow and she she's she her personality tends to fall on a similar personality with erica but hers mm -hmm. she's uh she's not as sensitive as my first one okay. is so she tends to you know, progress when she you reprimand her for something, mm -hmm. things just fall off her back. <laughs> you know, she doesn't hold oh, wow. grudges. Great. So, yes. well, I found Erica being an easy child to raise. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm starting to think that Eliana is even easier. Easier. <laughs> <laughs> but also, that also influences on how you raise them. You see, mm -hmm. um, some of the lessons that we've drawn or decisions that we made with my husband mm -hmm. on how we want our parenting style to look like. Mm -hmm. um, we felt that our girls need to see their mom winning, exactly. their mom being in positions of influence wow. for them to know that they are also able to assume such roles. Mm -hmm. So I served as a journalist uh -huh. for, a better part, for a better part of my career. Wow. And so my husband was very proud of that time that I was in the limelight. I was doing stories. My yes. kids will get to see me on oh, TV. And so <laughs> I left. I don't think Eliana will have memories of that, but at least I have Still recordings. Uh -huh. But you see, that will help them know that they can achieve anything. Exactly. And every time I would lack, you know, there are moments that you lack confidence you in know, doing certain things. My husband always reminds me that 
to these kids you're a superhero which is true yeah they they <laughs> don't think that mom is unable to do anything, anything. our mom can do everything and so that also encourages me mm-hmm. to always pursue opportunities you see wow. because we want to show our girls that you know mm-hmm. mom mm-hmm. wins mm-hmm. at home and also in the marketplace exactly now for my son mm-hmm. my son i never even thought if I, the 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 style and the decisions we made mm-hmm. are also uh inculcated in the naming oh really so Erica's Tell me that. name yes Erica means everlasting leader wow. or ruler wow you so see because now we are calling them <laughs> to their position as leaders exactly. eliana my last boy her name means god has answered my prayer which also wow. leans more towards a successful woman who's looking back uh-huh. and seeing herself having won you see wow but chariton's name is different because we've always assumed chariton will rule chariton is our wow. only son we I expect him to win it's a coin from your name or something charity it's, and probably something else it is it is mm-hmm. a name on itself oh, it's a really? greek name oh wow chariton means gracious kindness because we also want the man to soften up a bit to lead but also to be gracious and to be kind wow and that is why we chose those names and now with chariton our yes. hope is that mm-hmm. uh he is able to be mentored by the dad uh-huh so that he can pursue opportunities whereas uh learning how to take care of women in his life oh, learning to be kind learning to uh to be caring to mm-hmm. society mm-hmm. to give and that is why we chose that name chariton which means gracious kindness it's a greek mm-hmm. name and it's so beautiful because we want him to reach the highest level of of leadership mm-hmm. but also to be grounded and to be kind and to be gracious wow. and so now we made a decision that mm-hmm. for my girls to see me winning cherono i need to play lead in raising my girls so we have at our church we start taking our kids to sunday school when they are very young there's oh, a program really? yes wow. there's a program called baby Bra- bible mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it was a personal decision that uh when our girls are attending baby bible me as their mom i'm the one to take them to oh. baby bible oh wow. why because mm-hmm. I understand the needs the spiritual needs of girls because I've been a girl before. Mm-hmm. And so I want them to to take a lead from me. I look like them. Yeah. They can pick something from me and so I'll show them faith and spirituality is very important to women. Wow. And you can have those conversations as you're growing in your faith. But for Chariton, mm-hmm. Chariton attends Baby Bible, attended Baby Bible with, with his dad. dad. Amazing. Because Chirono, you will attest to this exactly. in most churches. <laughs> yeah. The population. <laughs> <laughs> women are more <laughs> more than the women, other gender. You know? <laughs> and maybe it was because maybe fathers didn't show boys maybe. that faith is important. So it's about time we change this, yes. you know, the perception. Yes. And wow. so we want to always have Chaiton attend baby bible with the dad so that the dad can show him that this is not weakness. This exactly. is submitting to a higher power is no no reflection of weakness. Amazing. And so that yeah he did that mm-hmm. and now me I'm waiting for my time covid made it sure that I didn't attend baby bible but yeah, at least me baby. and Eliana <laughs> will do other things uh-huh. in mm-hmm. her in her walk of faith mm-hmm. in her journey of faith mm-hmm. so it also plays out in the uh discipline huh? you know you people that? don't think about how personality differences mm-hmm. can influence your discipline because um when it comes to disciplining our kids yes we made a conscientious decision that mm-hmm. my husband would discipline my son oh great yes wow. because boys tend to pay attention yeah. to instructions given to given to them from their fathers oh, from really? their dads uh-huh. these 
statistics that I can't quote really um, fully because mm -hmm. I don't know uh, the exact figures. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a relationship between the population in American uh, prisons, uh -huh. the male population in the American prisons, mm -hmm. prison system, mm -hmm. and the absenteeism of fathers in households. Oh my. Because instructions that come from females mm -hmm. does not really resonate with males. And so we decided, me and my husband, we decided that uh, when it comes to disciplining or reprimanding our son, mm -hmm. the authority will be my husband. But then also when it comes to disciplining my girls, girls uh -huh. I do not want them to have a, a bad perception of men. Uh -huh. And so I play lead when it comes to mm -hmm. disciplining my girls. Mm -hmm. So there are moments that uh, in the event I'm not around. Yes. I've served in, in, the, in an industry where it's part of my, I, I will travel <laughs> and my husband will be at home. And mm -hmm. you know, uh, discipline has to be instantaneous exactly. for them to be able to relate the mistake yes, to exactly. the, the action or, or the consequence. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we try to do that mm -hmm. so that my girls cannot see a male figure as someone who is antagonistic mm -hmm. or who is one to be feared. Mm -hmm. A man in my girl's life, I want a man to be a symbol of love and comfort and protection you mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. and so yeah it, it 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 is an adjustment that we have done mm -hmm. and at times um some of our styles people may not agree exactly, with exactly because again <laughs> we have so many unsolicited advice yes. have you been in those shoes <laughs> oh yes <laughs> tell me about that <laughs> so now yes I want my husband to have hands-on experience. I yes. asked you before, uh -huh. Chenono, uh -huh. <laughs> who do you call at home? When you want to talk to your parents, who do you call? I call mom first. <laughs> and even when you talk to your mother, is, is the conversation as animated or enjoyable? Or is it enjoyable, you know. <laughs> with your dad? Uh, so brief, <laughs> sort of. I only call my dad the very first thing. If I want to break some great news, he's the first person I go to. And if I need some advice, it's the person I talk to. But you know, generally talking about things to do at home, checking on them, mom always comes first. I yeah. don't know. But you see, <laughs> yes. it is we withdrew affection from our fathers. Why? Uh -huh. Because mm. they never played an active role in raising us. They never changed our nappies. Exactly. You know? They saw there is no connection. And I so mean, at times, yes. because me and my husband, I think we've changed more nappies. <laughs> right. <laughs> because I want him to have, you know, Hands I carried on. the kids. You know, exactly. The kids grew inside me. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. I normally tell people when I hug my kids, mm -hmm. I feel as though I'm hugging myself because yeah. they are a part of me. Exactly. They grew inside me. For, we, nine, good for months. nine months, we were connected <laughs> like this. Uh-huh. Then mm -hmm. you deny your husband mm -hmm. the privilege of taking care of his kids because you want to follow tradition. You know what yeah. you'll do? Mm -hmm. You'll create an even wider gap mm -hmm. and the Annoyingly. flow of affection will be cut. Yeah. And that is why we tend to I talk to my dad. Yeah. But the conversations are normally very short uh -huh. and they are also not as exciting as uh -huh. when you're talking to your mother. You I know? get you. Totally. And so, mm. at times when someone sees your husband feeding your child, and especially now that at some point we had a toddler and an infant, I oh, would yeah. take the infant, he will take the toddler. Some people will see that as strange. Uh -huh. You know? And it's not by and any it's chance not. weakening the yeah. other gender, or the male gender. offer help to my husband. Exactly. This man is not babysitting. This man is raising his He's children. <laughs> <laughs> there should be you a know? line drawn. Yeah. You know, if somebody sees that, and probably some relatives, maybe, if they come to your house and see your hubby changing the nappy, how does they take it? Most of them, they want to step in. Uh -huh. And I have to Lovely. step in uh -huh. and tell them, no, let him do, do it. it. 
let him raise his kids mm -hmm. it is part of the process of growing with these kids and of him showing his care and affection to his kids because I would not want anyone to steal that opportunity from him. It's not that I, I am so busy that I am not able to do a few diapers here yeah, and there. Yeah. But I want him to experience that. Exactly. And for Part him of to this. form that bond with my kids. I agree. Mm -hmm. Wow. So and he doesn't the, mind it. It oh, helps when he doesn't great. mind. <laughs> I like that. So now for the eight years, yeah? Because you told me your firstborn is eight. Um... How is her relationship when you compare yourself to that eight-year-old, when you take yourself back? How do you see your daughter in your own eyes with the dad, the relationship between her and the dad and yours and your dad? So in the past, yes. <laughs> we used to be told, Sterono, yes. when you get to a certain uh -huh. age, don't jump on your father. My husband takes that as a, a real offense. Oh, really? My husband hugs his kids. My really? husband kisses his oh, kids. Wow, great. And there's a bond there. I can tell you for a fact that I yes. think my kids are closer to my husband than they are to me. That's lovely. Maybe owing to the fact that I spent a lot of hours Time. out of the home. It's As a journalist, I would leave you know, at 8 and come, come back, back at 9 heading to 10 at times. <laughs> yeah. At times I wouldn't be there when I've gone to do features and other things. Mm -hmm. And so, mm. if for example I didn't create an opportunity, I'll be leaving my kids without a parent. Let's start there. Yeah, yeah. If for example they say, don't know, let my mm -hmm. husband come home, sit there with, with my newspaper and, 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 and sit with a remote. <laughs> I'll be denying my kids affection. Eh? For the periods of time I, w I wouldn't be at home. Mm -hmm. But now, you mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. uh, they are very close. Yes. Like right now, because at least now I have some free time, Toronto. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Covid -ken. laughs> My kids yes. get to read storybooks with my husband. Right. That's his role. Wow. And he used to, before it was every night, but now you say, you know what? Mm -hmm. Only when it's not a school night. So oh. he reads Friday, Saturday. Yeah, huh? just Friday and Saturday. Saturday. Because Sunday is a school night because Monday exactly. is the following day is a mm. school day. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so he reads to them Friday wow. and Saturday and Saturday and some of them have made up stories. That's <laughs> they so have lovely. a good time. I, yeah. I would love to know the kind of stories that you read to them before bedtime. So, yes. Uh, I, 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 I really don't read to them. Oh, the, yeah. dad does the dad does. That. What are those kind of stories? Because yes. mostly it's uh, faith-based stories. Oh, mm -hmm. And you know the role of a husband exactly. in a home. Mm -hmm. A husband is a provider, yes. a protector, a priest and a prophet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes. if I read to them the word of God, I'll be taking the priesthood role oh. from my husband. Oh, you wow. see? And wow. we want the bedtime stories to be more, which other opportunity do you have to read? To, to, to share with them the word of God. Only bedtime. On Sundays, only yeah. bedtime. Yeah. And, and right now, the Bible has been broken down mm -hmm. to accommodate different age groups. We have Bible stories for, for babies. And so, when mm -hmm. he reads to them the Bible stories, mm -hmm. he's calling them out. He is speaking to their future yeah. by reading the word of God to them. And so, I really don't take that role because that is his role mm -hmm. as the priest of our home mm -hmm. and that is how we do it at our place. Wow. Yeah. And it yeah. also because I've been working from home for some time. Oh, great. See those hours that you're there with your kids. kids. <laughs> Running up and down in the house. Running up and down in the house. Yes. And at some point I didn't even have a house girl, Cherona. Oh, I was no. alone in the house. Oh, yeah. I remember you mentioned yeah. it. Yeah. How least, was that? Yeah, it was it was interesting. Was <laughs> your full time working and now with the babies? At, at that point, I wasn't working, so oh, I was yeah. just full time mom. Uh huh. And I really appreciate the work that our nannies do. Oh yeah, they are amazing. <laughs> they are amazing. <laughs> they play a huge role. Yeah. So right yeah. now, while well, working from home, you mm -hmm. see, I'm still at home, and yes. kids will still come into my room, interrupt me when. I, and mm -hmm. so when my husband comes from work, yes, it's a good time for me to just. Relax. Switch something. off, yeah. and then he can be able to take over, take over. Read, read to them. I'll have prepared them for bed, and he will take over, put them to bed, pray, okay. and they are off to sleep. And that Allow is our me. day. <laughs> That's great. Allow me to take you back slightly. When it comes to disciplining kids, 
how do you do it? Do you spank them? Do you shout? Or, because sometimes I think <laughs> I, I shout. <laughs> so, yes. I prescribe uh, my parenting is instructed by the word of God. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And the word of God says, spare the rod, spoil, spoil the, the child. child. Mm -hmm. And also the word of God also says, mm -hmm. the child who, uh, the child who's, who the father loves, he instructs. Mm -hmm. So there are two levels of discipline. Yes. There's a level where a rod is a rod. Mm -hmm. See, see hypothetical. <laughs> so you know, mm -hmm. no, in the Bible it doesn't say at a rod that you kuchapa kuchapa. Mm. It is kuchapa kuchapa. But, but it's growing up to be chapa sana and exactly. here we are. <laughs> yeah. But it depends it depends mm -hmm. on the magnitude oh, yeah. of the mistake mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. Also, you're, you're beating a child, so you also have to do it yeah. with kindness and love. And, love. Yeah. and also, yeah. this I learned from my, my, my sister. Yeah. My sister was told that even when you're uh, uh, um, using corporal punishment, yeah. when you're using a rod, mm -hmm. you know there are parents who react out of anger. And there are moments where you just take, you turn mm -hmm. them over and you use your hand. <laughs> yes. Actually, yeah. uh, parenting experts say that always use something like slippers. You remember we used to be bitten by our slippers? Yeah, exactly. Use some, something because mm -hmm. when you go to get that thing that you're going to use to spank your child, yeah. because it's not every time, but it's there are moments once, where in a world, you at know. times it happens. But Child uh, parenting experts say, when you go to get whatever you're going to use, in that moment of walking away, mm -hmm. you calm down. Mm -hmm. So whatever anger you had, you will not really exert as much pressure on children. And this I'm talking about children yeah. six and above, yeah. you know? Some of Just them test it. you a bit. <laughs> yeah. So don't use your hands. Okay. Because you um, know some kids want a pata lama. Yeah. Maybe they've been pinched and, and you know mama to come. So take uh -huh. take a break. Take just a walk. Take a walk. Okay. Go collect something. Actually, to on slippers and you turned out okay. Mm -hmm. Also the second level is instruction. Yeah. Uh, I always say that uh, there are children who are to be spanked. But then there are children who, age-wise, age mm -hmm. who have gotten to a point where they understand consequences mm -hmm. and they are able to draw lessons from those consequences. Mm -hmm. And they can be able to learn from experiences of other people. That when you tell them, so and so, alikuwa nakata kwenda kanisani, or something, mm -hmm. and they'll be able to associate their life right now and how they would have wanted their lives to pan out, you see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's, it's different. Some people don't spank their kids. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Mm -hmm. We are not perfect in our exactly. parenting. Yeah. And at times, uh, you wouldn't want to do it. But at times, you find yourself having spanked your child, <laughs> depending on what they've done. Yeah. <laughs> the first time my husband spanked my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> he, she almost broke the TV. You know? Oh my! <laughs> With her spoon, you know. Yeah. He, he spanked her. Yeah. And and you see, mm -hmm. at times you don't even plan for it. You don't yeah, say it that I was spontaneous. Yeah. At times you, you don't. Who sits and says? I am going to beat these children when they get them, you know. At yeah. times in the journey, you just mm -hmm. find yourself mm -hmm. being in that zone mm -hmm. and having to do that. And it's the role that we have. Mm -hmm. Especially during this time when people mm -hmm. were talking about the school kids who are burning schools. Yeah, they were the saying that uh, there, there's need mm -hmm. to... To go back to corporal? Yeah, reevaluate mm -hmm. the policy that withdrew corporal punishment, you know. Oh, yeah. Because... In the African context, it doesn't seem to be working, surely. I don't think it will work, <laughs> especially in my house. <laughs> you know, it doesn't yeah. seem to be working. <laughs> and you see, also data doesn't lie. Like us guys, yeah, schools were being burnt, but yeah. to, not to the magnitudes that the schools but are we being burnt. Now. Them now. <laughs> you know? I don't yeah. know. So, to each his own, mm -hmm. that is yeah. what I would say. Mm -hmm. To each his own, mm -hmm. I wouldn't judge a parent who stands and exactly. I wouldn't judge a parent who, who doesn't. doesn't stand. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody has his own or yeah. her own methods of yeah. parenting. But disciplining should be done with love. 
of, mm -hmm. of with love and with the intention of having those children learn something. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. So if it means talking to your girls and saying, you know what, mm -hmm. his slippers, eh? mm. <laughs> it's gonna land somewhere, it's gonna be a little bit painful, mm -hmm. but it's because you've done this and this and this. You know? But do you think everybody has that patience? <laughs> it can come after. Oh yeah, after you, yeah, you know. Yeah, it can come after. Yeah. You ask them, why do you think mama has done that? It yeah. has hurt me to, be, to do that. Mm. But you have done this. I've warned you several times. Mm. You still continue to do it. Why mm. are you doing it? Mm -hmm. Is it because you don't respect me? I had a similar conversation with oh, my really? daughter. Mm -hmm. I told her. Mm. I didn't end up spanking her, mm -hmm. but I had told her there are certain programs that we don't want her to watch. Exactly. And she keeps on gravitating to that content. Uh -huh. And so I found her and mm -hmm. I told her, listen, mm -hmm. it's either mm -hmm. what I'm saying doesn't mean anything to you, mm -hmm. or you don't respect me, mm -hmm. or you don't care how I feel. Oh my. You know? Yeah. You talk to them. Mm -hmm. And they then understand, huh? And then she's unable to pick. And then now you tell her, listen, because I've told you this several times, you agree? Yes. Yeah. You have not done it. Of course, at that point, she'll start saying, Mama, sorry, I will not do it again. I will not do it again. Mm -hmm. And you've achieved it. And maybe yeah. at, some, at that point, you don't have to elevate the discipline mm -hmm. to a spanking. You know? yeah. Yeah. So tell me, when you spank her, maybe once in a while, like you said, do you come back and tell her sorry? No, because so that you, will negate the point of the spanking. Uh -huh. yeah. So you just have a discussion and that, leave it at that? Yeah, you just tell, tell her that whatever has happened, it has hurt me more than mm -hmm. it has hurt you probably. Mm -hmm. And it is not my intention for us to have this kind of exchange. I did this because of this, this and this. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and also, mm. I don't think children over the age of 12 need to be spanked. Yeah. I, d I don't think so. I mm. don't think so because mm -hmm. now you're trying to move them to a situation where they can be able to make the right choice. Exactly. No? Yeah. Not all... Uh, there, uh, there are different types of, of disciplining method. That one is called... There is a reward mm -hmm. method mm -hmm. and then there is a consequence method. Not all... Uh, disciplining approaches yeah. should be a, a, a geared towards communicating a consequence. Oh, yeah. you see? Yes. At times it can be a reward. What or kind of a reward? withdrawal ah. of, a, of a privilege. Okay. Yeah. You know? Like for example, so with, that issue, that. Yeah. Mm. with that issue that yeah. With that issue of um, the content that yes. we don't want her to, to engage with. Uh -huh. So in the event she does it, we yes. withdraw privileges. She mm -hmm. doesn't watch TV for some time. It's off, okay. Yeah, it's off because now if you have to always watch that <laughs> thing I've told you not to time watch. Time and again. <laughs> you know? oh, right. I withdraw that privilege. Mm -hmm. And I always tell them, this TV is not yours. It's, it's mine, mine and, and your daddy's. <laughs> exactly. Now, tell me about um, rewards. What kind of rewards do you give to your kids? I always praise my kids for oh, good wow. things that they have done. Mm -hmm. Because at times as parents, we forget to praise our kids. Mm -hmm. And you don't just praise them when you're the two of you. You oh, praise okay. them publicly. Oh, really? You know, for them to feel, you know, mm -hmm. you know I've mm -hmm. done something good. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I want to give them a gift uh -huh. and also praise them publicly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, when it comes to gifts, do you let her choose what she wants or it's you to make the decision based on why you're gifting her or him? I wouldn't want my child to, <laughs> to choose what gift. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I want, to, of course, it has to be a well thought, of, uh -huh. thought out gift. Yeah. But then I will choose it myself because that gift is, is it should be, it should be from, from my heart. <laughs> and so you don't want to spoil them. Or for them to ask for gadgets, as we've chosen exactly. not to give our oh, yeah. children telephones yeah. until they are above the age of 18. It's wow. a personal choice. Wow. I don't know how we are going to navigate it, but we've already started talking to our eight-year-old. Uh -huh. But uh, Shiko, you do realize that it is not our intention to give you uh, a cell phone mm -hmm. before you, you turn 18. Exactly. But that action will be done depending on the environment at that point you see mm -hmm. if for example she might need it at 16 you mm -hmm. know cpc has brought forward exactly the 
has reduced the number of years that they are doing in in, in the primary, primary school. Yeah. And maybe perhaps you don't know whether your child will exceed expectations and maybe they are uh, pushed forward. And how is she position. taking it? She's okay because mm. right now she doesn't need a phone. Oh, so she, she doesn't has, even grab your own maybe to watch something? She has access to her phone. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. In the event she has friends she needs to talk to, she, she can use our phone. Oh, yeah. But um, we feel as though if you delay the interaction between a child mm. and the internet and certain uh, content of influence, you'd be able to shape your child the way you want, you know? Mm. If you don't provide them with um, a cell phone when they're so young, you'll reduce the number of influences in her life, mm -hmm. you see? Because mm -hmm. we want our kids to take instruction one, from God, because God speaks to young children. Mm -hmm. Secondly, to us. Ikienda kufikia relatives, iyo ni ile nye tu, ile tu ye nye wezi ambia mtu tafadhali hacha kuangera mtoto wangu lakini, you know? Society inakuja uko periphery, but you want your kids to get your primary instruction from you yeah. because me mm. and Omnajua the type of child you want you to want raise to mold. you know uh -huh. you are the people who've dreamt about the the children that you want to raise mm. because this is our role and you cannot abdicate this role. True. I always say that should I fail at my job the company I work for mm -hmm. will hire someone else. Exactly. If I fail in parenting, mm -hmm. there's no one else who no will step in to oh, parent yeah. my children for me, you see? Mm -hmm. And so we have to be intentional. At times it's, it's a little bit uh, of putting for people to see some of the things and someone may tell you that, you know what, Charity, you can only suggest to your children. <laughs> at times, mm -hmm. they just have to make their own decision. I don't think that is right. I okay. think that's a lazy mm -hmm. way of parenting your children. Uh -huh and just letting circumstances happen to them. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had people tell you mm -hmm. that uh, <laughs> No, I've heard that Even a number children of, of kings yeah. had chaperones. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Ata kama wata aribika, wafikishe 18, mm -hmm. cherono. No. Should they aribika na huko, you did your, you did your job. In the years that they are defined as children, you did your job. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and God cannot judge you. That's great. <laughs> so as we come to the end of this conversation, it's been an amazing. What would you want to tell that parent who is probably watching and having trouble in raising his or her kids? Mm. Yes. First of all, you're doing a very good job. <laughs> Let no one tell you otherwise. You're doing a very good job. And so be confident in the path that you've chosen in your parenting journey. Be mm -hmm. confident in the decisions that you make as a mother. Do not be apo apologetic. The decision that uh, you've chosen for your kids, you are the one who knows why you've chosen such a path for your children. And so walk in that parenting journey confidently and, ap and unapologetically. That's lovely. We are going into Christmas season. Maybe you can wish somebody Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas from me and my family. Maybe one day Charana will host us here. Sure, sure. Very soon <laughs> we'll plan that. Stay safe. Take care of yourself and uh, love one another even as you continue to aspire to live your best life. That is wonderful. Thank you so much, Charity, for coming, even though I gave you short notice and you made it here. And of course, if you're here watching and you have any concerns or questions, you can send them in, in any of our platforms, social media platforms, be it WhatsApp or anything, or on my Gmail account. We'll be sure to get in touch even after this conversation. And if you have a story on parenting style or tales that you want to share with us, feel free to write to us and we'll get back to you. Thank you very much. God bless. Love more. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.